Hey, what is up guys? My name's Rizyle, and welcome back to another episode in my Survival Starter House tutorial series. Now the house I'll be building today has a nice compact design that fits within a 14x11 area, as well as sporting a warm and cozy look that makes for a great early game home. So without any further ado, let's get right into building it. Now the first thing we will need to do is lay out the foundation of the building, so let's begin by placing down a 7x7 ring of cobblestone that is 4 blocks tall. Now once we have the foundation in place, let's replace the grass inside here with dark oak planks. Then let's also place in a layer of these dark oak planks at the third block up for the second level's flooring. Now at each of the corners of the foundation, let's replace the cobblestone with columns of spruce logs that are 6 blocks tall. Next up, we will add walls on top of the foundation. So let's start by adding two rows of dark oak planks over the cobblestone. Then at the front and back walls, let's add another row of dark oak planks, while also adding a couple smaller rows of three and one planks on top as well. Next we'll build the roof over top of the building, so from both the right and left sides extend up 4 rows of dark oak stairs from the top edge of the spruce logs, and then continue adding these stairs across to the back of the house. So once we have all the stairs in at both sides, let's fill in the middle row at the top of the roof with dark oak slabs. Then we'll extend the roof out a block at the front and back by adding a trim of spruce stairs and slabs along the dark oak ones with upside down spruce stairs under them as well. Next we'll add windows in the roof at the right and left sides, so come to one of the sides and start by removing three dark oak stairs at each end of the second row. Then add four dark oak planks along this row so there's a gap between each one, and add dark oak stairs on top facing the way I place them here.
Now also place an upside down stair between both sets of these stairs we just placed and remove the stair behind the upside down ones. Then let's place two slabs over top here to close off the gap. And now we can also place some windows under the upside down stairs using glass panes. So once you have one side of the roof's windows in, be sure to go to the other side and do the same thing. Next up, we'll add in the porch. So starting at the front of the house, add a couple columns of spruce logs that are two blocks out from the front corners and are four blocks tall. Then from these spruce logs at the left, also add another column that is two blocks to the left of it. And also add one of these columns two blocks over from the back left corner. Now after these columns are in place, let's add two rows of cobblestone off the front and left side of the house that is two blocks tall. Then with this cobblestone in place, come over to the front two columns here and extend out two more rows of the cobblestone past these two columns. And now place three more pieces of cobblestone in front of these two rows. So now with the foundation of the porch in place, let's next add spruce planks on top of the cobblestone. Then we'll add the staircase up to the porch, so between these two columns at the front left side of the porch, add spruce stairs down from the spruce planks. Next up we'll add a border of upside down spruce stairs around the porch, so place these stairs on all the spruce planks between the spruce log columns. And with all the upside down stairs in place, we can then add dark oak fences on top of them. Then we'll add some bushes around the porch by placing leaves between all the spruce log columns. And now come over to the front staircase and at the left side of it add a couple more bushes and then add three dark oak fences on top for a railing. Then let's replace the grass in front of the staircase with some cobblestone. Next we'll add in all the doors and windows to the house, so beginning on top of the porch let's first add a door at the middle of the front wall. Then add some leaves at the sides of the door with dark oak fences on top and three spruce slabs above. 
Now above the spruce slabs, let's add a window using a glass pane, and then also come around to the back and add a window at the same spot. Then come back to the porch, and at the left side of this house, let's add a glass pane at the middle of this wall, with three leaves below it and dark oak fences at the sides. And now at the back and right sides of the house where there is no porch, let's add windows at the middle of the cobblestone walls at the second block up. Then above and below the windows, let's add 5 spruce stairs, making sure they face the way I have them here with dark oak fences at the sides. And with those in place, we can also add a couple of flower pots at the sides of the windows. Now lastly for this house, we can optionally place in any kind of carpet over the porch if you want, as it will add a nice amount of color to it. Now as for the interior of this house, I'll leave that entirely up to you guys, but as always, I'll quickly show you how I decorated mine as an example. But that is going to be all for the survival starter house tutorial i hope you guys enjoyed and thank you so much for watching as always i'd love to hear all your feedback and don't forget to drop a like if you enjoyed as that would be much appreciated and with that said i hope to see you guys in the next video later guys bye bye